Alright, so everyone, welcome to my what's going to be only my second ever playthrough of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. This is featured in the Nathan Drake collection that was re uh, released many years ago on the PlayStation 4 as a remastered trilogy and hyping up because there was uh, Uncharted 4 right around the corner. It was a way for a lot of people to experience the franchise for the first time. I've only played this game once ever. When it was a new release way back when on the PlayStation 3 in 20, uh, 2009, actually. So 13 years ago is when I actually played this game. Since then, I've never touched it ever again. So I probably will remember certain parts, but likely not a lot of it. Um, I love the franchise. I think it's great. And I wanted to replay it for two reasons. Number one, because back then I used a camera and I wasn't live streaming. And I felt if I redid this playthrough now, it would be much higher quality and with an interactive audience, it's going to be a very different, fun experience. But in addition, right now there's just not a lot, a lot going on in May of 2022 when it comes to games. And I was looking for something interesting to do and I've always had this collection. I've owned it over the years and kind of kept it in my back pocket as something for a day when I have nothing to do. And so I'm going to be balancing this with other content on the night streams for the next couple of weeks. Should be pretty fun, all right? So, ladies and gents, without further ado, let's check it out. Let's actually check out the options here. We've got game options, subtitles on for sure. I'm going to leave everything else on default, it looks like. Controls display. Did the display do anything? Probably not. Maybe I'll just up the brightness one tick. Um, audio, language, and credits. Audio. Volumes and output. Sounds fine, right? It certainly sounds fine to me. And we're going to go with English. All right, we're good. Here we go, guys. I don't know if the camera's a good placement for this game. We have to remember where the heads-up display is, because I don't remember. We'll have to see. This is a big throwback to the PS3 days. This is the first... Well, this was one of the major first major playthroughs I ever did on PlayStation 3 in 2009 when I was doing diversified content. At the time, I was known for playing a lot of Street Fighter 4 and stuff, but I really enjoyed playing this. Listen to the soundtrack. This soundtrack is so good. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Thank you, PS3 Troop, for becoming a supporter tonight. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. All right. And we just did options, so new game. A continuous speed run. No, I think we want to do the campaign and see all the cutscenes and everything. Um, I Here's the thing. I haven't played Uncharted in a very long time, okay? Uh, last time was five years ago when I played The Lost Legacy. I remember the original games being much more challenging. But I'm definitely not going to do crushing. I've been debating should I do normal or hard. If I do hard, you know I'm going to die a hell of a lot more. And the playthrough is going to be less relaxing. Which is what a lot of people want from my late night streams. They want a more relaxed atmosphere where we can talk more. And it's not, oh my god, every moment I have to be paying attention. But of course, then you get a bunch of people who are basically be demanding and they're demanding right now in the stream chat that i do it on hard so it's kind of like i don't know if i play it on normal it's more casualized we have a better relaxing time i have more time to talk with you guys or if i do hard now it's like oh my god i gotta pay attention it's gonna be a pain in the ass right so what do i do there's no way i'm doing crushing that's insane i'd be an idiot <laughs> i'd be a complete idiot if i played it on fucking crushing i would never finish the game <laughs> okay all right, we'll do hard. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. It was stupid of you to ask yesterday, Scallop Potatoes. It was stupid. I did not tell half of what I saw for what for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo. On his deathbed, 1324. I think the game runs at 60 frames per second on PS5, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a full 60 frames game. I could be wrong, though. What's going on? Ouch. That's a bad way to wake up, dude. That's my blood. That's my blood. That's a lot of my blood. He looks very different. They read his face, you can tell. Drake. <laughs> oh 
always a, pro a problem here. Okay. Yeah, I remember this sequence. I definitely remember this sequence. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Chapter 1, A Rock and a Hard Place. Very cinematic. And looks like we need to try to survive here. Uh, how do I... Um, I can move left or right right now, I guess. So we'll go right. Go around to here. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess not. I guess right was incorrect. Because it looks like now he's stuck. Unless he can grab the door. I guess he can't grab the door. No. So nice, beautiful, beautiful scenery and nice atmospheric sound effects. <laughs> Let's take it in. Oh, is, is there an air of urgency here or something? Should I hurry up? Is there a reason I should skedaddle? Here we go. Shout out to 672 with the first tip of the night. He said, oh, look at this. I remember this. Scaling the whole truck. Pretty, or the uh, train, excuse me. You go right or left? Here. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. That's bad. Don't play this game if you're afraid of heights. So shout out to 672 for a $6.72 tip. He says, I put my money where my mouth is. Again, thanks for the harder difficulty. Shout out Barrel Shroud, Kyle Kevin, and Eternal, and a Kagome. All right, what do I do here? I can't go. I thought I could go left. I can't. I guess I'm going right. Let, let's get uh, let's get 672 on the leaderboard for the first tip of the night. I remember a lot of firefights in this one. Like we had to take a lot of cover behind seats and stuff, and that, I'm just it's it's watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna come back to me as I play it. I only remember the end because the end is crazy. I remember. I'm not gonna spoil for anyone who hasn't seen it before. The ending of this game is fucking insane. It's like, what is going on? I can't believe this is in the game. Like, why is it like this? <laughs> I was so blown away at the time. I was like, uh... All right, press X to jump. By the way, you cannot die here. I immediately tried to release the grip, and it wouldn't let me kill him. I guess they felt like it was too early in the game to die. Oh, that's good. He has no recollection how he got here. Of course. Jade is very excited. He loves this game. It's okay. It's okay. It's not very okay. It's pretty bad right now, actually, uh, Nate. You saying? <laughs> the Nolan North screaming, Oh! Nolan North going crazy. You gotta love it. Hold left thumbstick and press X to jump, so we're swinging. That looks very realistic. What's up, Guts? He says it'll be a fun playthrough watching this again. I would hope so. I said, game I haven't played in 13 years. Most of you probably never saw me play the original, right? So now we're doing platforming on a bunch of broken seats. Oh, good. I love it when they move. The added challenge of hard, hard difficulty. <laughs> See, you don't do shit like this anymore, right? Like, was the last time you played a, a game that had a, a crazy, a crazy epic movie-like platforming sequence like this? They don't... For a while, they were prominent, and they just, all these games kind of went away. That early formative years on YouTube where I was doing videos with a lot of games. Oh, boy. Better jump. <laughs> the Ocean of Lovers also pumped for tonight. Good to see you all here. Thanks for great viewership. We're at almost 350 viewers. I wasn't expecting that for Uncharted 2, I'll be honest. Then again, last night I played Zelda and that kind of so. Exciting. Look out for the sparks. Look out for the sparks. Come on. Get your butt in there. Come on, Nate. You can't run you here. Nope, you're bleeding. You can't run right out there. <laughs> Whoops. Well, this will be a quick end of the game, I guess. Right to the end sequence. Very good. <laughs> All right, damn. So I think what happens is they go back in time and you find out how he ended up there. Yep, I remember. He looks so young in this. This is only his second game, you know? He hasn't aged or anything yet by Uncharted 2. Buy me a drink, sailor. Hey, Stop Rich asking Flynn? me out. I told you no three times, hey! goddammit. What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. 
Again, his PS3 graphics upscale looks really? a little weird now. The client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Adam, listening. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Marco Polo. Oh, no. no, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the <laughs> devil, here she comes now. <clears throat> what? Chloe Fraser. Oh, I, Nathan, I didn't even remember she Drake, was in this one. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what? This is like a Final Fantasy VII map or something. I, I didn't, but go ahead. It does. It really looks like an old RPG map. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. Good evening, Ethan. <laughs> it's Welcome. worthless. I don't get it. <laughs> Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. Of course, there's always more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? I will shout out all your contributions after the cutscene, everybody. Where did you get this? Thank you. Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> stole it. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. How does she know that? Want to fill me in? Bullshit. Marco <laughs> Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Oh. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. And why would he have done that exactly? Why would he care if he's dead? Right? <laughs> We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? Gee, I wonder if anyone will double cross each other during the course of the game. That, that never happens or anything, right? <laughs> 672 says, man, they should have Ryan Reynolds play Drake because he seems like he's de destined for that kind of role. I, I always thought, no exaggeration, I thought the Nathan Drake character was kind of based off of Ryan Reynolds in other movies. I really felt like it was a combination of Ryan Reynolds and like a Harrison Ford Indiana Jones com combo. So. All right. Oh, this game is very dramatic, very cinematic, too. Everything in this game is either dramatic, cinematic, or both, for sure. So this is our first control of an eight. And you can actually rotate the camera. It is smooth 60 frames. I don't know if you guys will see that because the game is very detailed. You may not see it. It may dip in frames. And I apologize to you guys if my CPU gets maxed and it doesn't look so good. But before we continue, let's do some shout-outs here first. Because a bunch of contributions have come in. First of all, Alex from Phoenix did a second super chat. Good evening, Tyrone. Good to see you. And he says, remember dubbing Nate Calamity Drake? I already said that. I said that right at the beginning here. I said, yes, I called him Calamity Drake. Everything goes wrong for him. Every possible thing that can go wrong will go wrong, and he always finds himself in a situation where everything's falling apart around him. That's right. Uh, Derp General, just to me $10, the biggest tip of the night. Says, glad to see you're playing another classic in Uncharted 2. It's the best entry in the series, maybe tied with the Thieves' End. Nevertheless, there's, here's hoping for an exciting and nostalgic playthrough. I do feel this game is a huge improvement over the first. Way less grindiness, way less repetitiveness. Uh, 
The first game kind of fell into the formula of always ending up having to fight gauntlets of the same type of enemy. This game is not that bad, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> and it has way more exciting set pieces and better puzzles in the temples and things, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and, uh, yeah, again, I, I really like Uncharted 4, but I think of, of the original trilogy, this is probably the best. Uh, Shook Ones. It's took me three dollars. I don't remember this. The first or second game. One of the games is are hard for no reason. Fifty enemies will spawn you in five different locations. That's the that's definitely the first one. The first one is like that. It's like, geez, I killed fourteen guys that look the same, and now another twenty clones came around the corner. Like, gee, it never ends. I don't think it's that. That's this one. Uh, and big floppy nibbles to the dollar fifty saying the Uncharted movie was better than I thought, but they got a few things wrong and a few things right. The order is wrong. Well, right, you know, like we just saw. Here we're in Uncharted 2, and this is where he first met Chloe Frazier, but she's in the movie. She's she's a main one of the main characters of the movie, right? So, yeah, kind of weird there. By the way, you can save. You can save whatever you want. I guess you can, huh? Yeah, look. Okay. Cool. Save whenever. All right. By the way, great audience tonight. Thank you guys for tuning into Uncharted 2, Among Thieves premiere. See how it goes here tonight. If you like the if you like this uh, playthrough that I'm doing it, please give the stream a like. If you're watching the videos on demand on YouTube, you can always like the videos. You can leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the game or what your experiences with the game are. I'd love to hear them. And uh, you can always support in any way you'd like. It helps. Anything helps. Thank you. I know that. You know that is that is true. Suck a surprise, but I never knew if it was real or not. Suck a surprise just said, for those paying attention, Phil said that he was asked to do a cameo in the Assassin's Creed movie back in the day. It's actually true. Someone who apparently was working on the movie uh, was a fan of mine and contacted me and asked if I would like to have a bit role. Like, it wouldn't be a big role. It would be like maybe I walk into a bar and I say hello to someone or something like that. Uh, but I never knew if it was real or not. I never knew if the guy was serious or if he was just some guy who was crazy or he was a troll. I never understood. I mean, it very well could have been real. <laughs> no, I don't know. All right, we got a gun. Here's our gun. Very nice. What's this? Oh, I didn't even see this door. Yeah. Chris B. He says he's 96 hours in Horizon Forbidden West grinding for a platinum. That's that's a situation I would not want to be in. That game had way too much repetitive content. I have to really be playing it that long. I enjoyed it for what it was, but as you saw, I didn't do too much of the optional stuff. It just was not necessary for the game at all. Of course, it's locked. It's always locked. Okay. Shit! Calamity Drake's terrible aim. Oh, okay. Melee is square. Oh, this is interesting. Look! The color of the controller, can you see it? It's green. It turned like a yellowish green. I've never seen the controller do that color before. Okay. Very interesting. Press R1 reloads. That's a weir weird reload button. Circles dodge. I, I figured as much. A lot of games had circle as dodge back then. What the fuck? Why'd it explode? Did you see that? I shot the guy three times in the body and the thing behind him exploded. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Sure. Calamity Drake. Okay. Oh, he jumps for nothing. What is with the soundtrack? Why is it so creepy? The soundtrack's like really creepy right now. By the way, I guess he's magically healed from that gaping wound he has that was bleeding so badly because now he's doing insane platforming, right? <clears throat> I guess he he uh he cleansed and cauterized the wound at some point off camera that we didn't see. Whoops, calamity Drake. <laughs> of course, everything has to explode around him. There you go. There you go. Ba na ba bum 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 ba 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 bum. Always. <clears throat> He's dead. Actually, that's the end of the game. Look at that. Very nice. 
Explosions counter. We do. We need. We need a calamity count. Calamity count on screen. How many bad things happen to him that don't make any sense? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah. You might have warned me. And missed the look on your face. Oh, he knows her already. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Right. Together. She totally won't double cross him. <laughs> Until of course. Then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. He's Trust gonna me. be the villain, isn't he? And Nathan's stupid and he falls for it. Because he, you know, thinks with his dick instead of his head. Like most idiot guys. Spawn Killer took me $1.50 and says, I wish that they had the voice actor in Uncharted play Drake in the Uncharted movie. You mean Nolan North. Nolan North is in the Uncharted movie in a cameo on the beach. I saw the scene online where it's actually, uh, what's his name? Tom Holland and the, the, the actress who plays Chloe and they run into him and, and they go, yeah, so uh, we just fell out of a plane in a car and crash landed in the ocean. And he goes, ah, it's funny. Something like that happened to me once. <laughs> it's a good scene. It's probably the best scene in the movie. I don't know. I didn't see it, but... <clears throat> Migs, no, please no spoilers. Do not spoil for anyone who's never seen the game before. Please don't tell them the enemies that are coming. I do remember some of them, but, you know, there's no reason to spoil for people who haven't played, man. Okay. So we can't go this way. That looks safe, especially when you're bleeding all over the place. Very safe jump. It is? Chrome says that actually is the best scene in the movie. <laughs> All right. Good evening, Oil Tank Guardian. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, everyone. Like I said, great viewership tonight for a throwback game. I was not expecting to have almost 400 viewers, so thank you guys for being here. Move faster. Oh, shit. <laughs> Calamity Drake. <laughs> Face first into the snow. There you go. Okay. All right, see, Sup just says, please don't spoil it. Hey, thanks for not spoiling it, because I never played it before. There you go. No spoilers for people who haven't seen it. Redemption Games, I'm sorry about your bad day, but I hope that this is cheering you up. Sounds good. What's with the music? Creepy music. Oh, the dagger. The sacred dagger of Boombach Blackbach. Yes, I remember that, of course, from the original playthrough not, uh, 13 years ago. Who would remember that? Who would forget that name? Excuse me. This is the weapon you need to defeat Radon. Without this weapon, Radon is too difficult. <laughs> he stunned Bull four months earlier. Thank you. Sure you're up for Shook this? ones for another tip. Be a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? Yeah. If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. So Shook wants to do the Tim the Uncharted series is like Game of Thrones. Everyone always double crosses everyone, and sometimes there's even a triple cross. Wow. Where does Drake have all the money to play for all these flight tickets? Says Alex. That's the thing. He makes a lot of money with his treasure hunting, but then he spends it all on the next treasure hunt. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. 
This way. He's addicted to treasure hunting. He can't stop himself from blowing all his money on these extravagant so what excavations and, uh, you know, exhibitions. Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> you cocky bastard. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe, see you on the other side. Good evening, Super Blind Man. Good to see you, man. He said, holy past fight. blasting Batman, as in a blast from the past. A 13-year-old past. I was a different person 13 years ago. I actually uh, sure had three heads going. back then. I don't know if you guys knew that. Ways. Breaking and entering. Press X to climb onto a ledge. Very nice. So I believe now there will be optional treasures to find. Because the game has optional objectives and things to find, and if you find them all, you get trophies and stuff. And this is a different collection from the original on PS3, so if I do find collectibles, I do get trophies for playing this. As you know, I'm an avid trophy collector. If I beat a game, I don't collect all the trophies. I have to go back and get them all before I can beat it, so this could take a couple of months for me to beat. To <laughs> so find every collectible. His dodge is very, very uh, crappy in this. See, see how, how very short distance he rolls? This is before they made every character in every game dodge forward 7,000 feet. They made it more realistic in this one. Although his leaps, his jumps are kind of ridiculous. So wait, he went there. How did he do this? What did he do, jump across there? I see a pipe on the wall. Oh, I gotta do this. Look at this. Ha ha. Grab the yellow pipes. You can barely see them. Did I try the multiplayer of the game? This game doesn't have multiplayer. You were thinking of Uncharted 3 that has multiplayer. It's like the and good yes, I played days, that extensively. Yeah. Remember Subway? When were those again? Subway. Nathan Drake. Eating. Subway Club. A foot long. Delicious. Honey oat bread. Freshly baked. Lettuce, tomato. And onions. Always remember the onions. Okay, we're not going to do that this whole playthrough. Hell no. We're definitely not doing that. Okay. Ew. Oh, wait. Sewer this water. Great. Right. Let's be sure to roll them right around in it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's press up for a point of interest. There hey. you go. Now, what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah. <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. That is his I name. Just give me a boost. In like Flynn. Oh, this people are telling me the game did have multiplayer. I didn't even know that. I don't think I played it. I remember playing it in three. I don't remember playing it in two. Thanks. My favorite is the Italian BMT because it has a delicious selection of Italian flavored meats you can get at your local Italian deli Almost only at your there. local Subway. No guts, no Very glory. authentic. Have it on the Italian urban cheese bread. It's my recommendation. A little bit of mayo, some vinaigrette. <laughs> And always remember the banana peppers. Oh, we don't have banana peppers in Subway anymore. Oh, uh, I didn't Here say that. Go. Excuse me. They used to have banana peppers in Subway. Not anymore. They dished that shit. It was too tasty. Had too much flavor. Actually, I think about it. They still have really? the banana. They don't have the sweet peppers. I used to get the sweet peppers all the time. I'm pretty sure they got rid of those. Okay. Oh. I thought there would be like a cutscene. No, I'm already controlling. What is that? Looks like a uh, like a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant. Looks like a fire extinguisher in there. There's another one on the wall over there. They stand out because they're like bright red. Can you do anything here? No. Nope. Hold. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay. Right. Would I be a subway spokesperson like Steph Curry? You know, I've done a lot of bad things in my life. But I don't know if I would go that far. Yeah. To actually promote eating that stuff. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I dropped it down for you. 
Excuse me. Uh, Hexplate Golem has sent a dollar fifty, saying, "Use everything, iron, rust, scrap, even the ground. Uh, must join our cause." Okay, I have no idea what that means. Again, it sounds like a magic reference or something. This guy, <laughs> this guy, usually comes by and says stuff like this in tips. Thank you for the tip. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I remember Uncharted 3 had the subway uh, tie-in, which is why I was making those jokes when I played the, the Uncharted 3 All beta. Right. This is the way to the courtyard. I was always making subway jokes. Okay. Tyrone, have a good night. Sounds good, man. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. That's fine. I don't need my skin. Out of the way. Here we go. Somewhere. No, they won't let me. See if you can find it, then. So we're going this way. Subway. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to jump the wrong way. The camera... I see the camera changes. That's why I did it. The camera rotated. Automatically. Here we go. You got it. Yes, yeah, Guts, we talked about that before I started playing. Let's not talk about that all night, because then people will just talk about that all night, please. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just drop, I guess. <laughs> that was not what I was supposed to do. That was a bad idea to just drop like that. It, it did not pan out very well. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh. That was a special treat for you right there. That was unintended. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so I guess I gotta jump. Oh, okay. Jump and swing. I see. I see. Don't plummet to your death. Swing across instead. Ingenious. <laughs> so what do I do now? Jump? Yes. That was a simple misclick. A simple misclick. <laughs> You never want to know where a simple misclick will lead you. Sometimes it'll lead you there. Ah! Okay, enough of that. Spawn killer to the dollar fifty. <laughs> what a great playthrough so far. Spawn killer to the dollar fifty, and he says, "Where's Jasper? He is uh, relaxing with Cat downstairs in the living room." I told you guys if I hear him outside, I will bring him in. I know you guys miss him, and he hasn't been on a stream in a long time. But if I hear him, I'll have him come in. But I don't hear him right now. He's definitely relaxing with her down there. Okay. Nathan says, I'm very sorry. I'd like to support you, but I can't right now. All right, well, then, as punishment, you have to watch this. Here you go. Here you go. Watch it. Look at that. Oh, oh! Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Take cover? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just oh, stick to God. the plan. You got me? Tell me see, this. 13 years ago, see what you were missing? Yeah, we didn't have all these little toys and contraptions and things to fuck with when I played games. I just had a camera pointed at a TV. We couldn't mess around like this. <laughs> Enjoy your punishment. All right. Uh, they totally can't see your flashlight through there, by the way, Nate. You know, it's totally not bright as shit. Ah, here's a collectible. Here's the first collectible of the playthrough. Here it is. I was absolutely right. First treasure. Look at that. Trophy progress. So it's called the Ottoman Ring. Can I I can't look at it though. Just stare at it. You can't there's no lure or anything behind it. You look at it. It's kind of nice. Look. That's about it. Alright. I wish that there was like lore behind it. There's nothing there. I'm, I'm so used to playing Elden Ring for like two and a half months. I, oh, I found a ring. There's going to be like 17 paragraphs of lore behind it to explain that it came from like the the ring finger of the, uh, you know, the Duke of the Archbishops of the fucking Gargoyle Choir who researched the deep lava flow mages of the planet and they learned how to conjure up giant towers of uh, flaming... All right. That's enough of that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much Elden Ring in a nutshell. <clears throat> it's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh. Wait. There's an alarm. The 
That's new since last time. Oh yeah, look. <sighs> Great. Now what? Well, oh no, an alarm on a museum. I've never seen box. that before. Shit. It's got to be around here somewhere. I pick more than my nose. Uh, uh, what's this? Fire extinguisher. Uh, uh, what am I looking for? What the fuck? I'm pressing up on the D-pad. It's doing this. Look. Ah. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Matrix91 did a super chat. He says, want to know a good horror story to not be recognizable except by your mother. When you turn back to normal, everyone recognizes you. I have no idea what you just said, Matrix, but I appreciate the super chat and the effort. I just don't no idea what that means. I'm a little lost. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure what to do. I'm pressing up on the D-pad, which is supposed to tell you where to go, and it's just doing this. Why don't you follow the conduit? Follow the power cable. Okay, that's what they want me to do. So you go over here, you look, you look around there, it goes over here. So it goes down here and over there. And you jump here and you look here. And the power cable's right there. So you go here, and you look over here. The power cable is here. Wait, it's here. There it is, it's there. And then where is the it's where's the power cable? It goes here. See it's here. Right there, here. And then it goes there, and you walk over here, and you look. And there it is, behind the pipe. See that? And then the power cable goes here, behind the pipe. And so you follow it here. And you look up. Now, where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. It goes behind. Look, it's right there. You can see that red is the power cable. And it goes behind the pipe. And then it's gone? Or does it go? No. No. Where does it go? What the f... Where does the fuck does it go? Uh, it goes there. You can't see where it goes. It disappears. Because it's not on the floor. And it's not behind the pipe. And it's not on the ceiling. So where the fuck did it go? Wait. Is that it? No. Wait. That's not the power cable, is it? The power cable goes here. And then it goes here and over here. And you can see it on the wall there. See it? It's right there. <clears throat> and you follow it. And it goes here. You can see it here. And then it's there on the wall. And then it goes right here. And then it's right there. I can see it. It's right there. And then it's gone. It just disappears behind the green pipe. See? There it is right there. But then where does it go? I can't see where it goes. It disappears behind this green pipe. And now where do you follow it? What the fuck? It's not here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. And I've only... I'm only in the first, like, half an hour of the game. I'm lost already. This is not a good sign. This is very bad. I just, I'm getting older now, and I'm becoming addled. Addled brain. And I can't figure this stuff out anymore. Look, they won't even let me climb this box here. I can't go here. <laughs> uh, what about here? Oh! Here! Here. Here. All right. A couple shout outs here. Here. Hold on. I misclick. Shout out to Mr. Game Master 11111 who did a $1 super chat. I appreciate that $1 super chat from Mr. Game Master 11. One 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 one. Thank you to one 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 one, Mr. Game Master. Thank you for the support tonight. Okay, one. <clears throat> All right. So that should have disabled the alarm. I hope. It also opened the door. 
cool. Shit. Off to a bumpy start. Look at this guy. I got him. What the? He teleported. Did you see that? Exit cover. Press forward and tap circle. Stealth attack. Ready for this? Stealth takedown? You know I'm the master of stealth. See, back then in 2009 when I first played this game for the first time, I was a newbie. I was... I was a, a newcomer to this style of gameplay. I hadn't played any of the Metal Gear Solid games yet. Uh, I hadn't played Thief. I hadn't played Dishonored. Uh, I never had done stealth before, really. No Dave's X. Now, I have become a master of this style of gameplay. Everyone knows it when they watch me play these games. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Well, I guess you need to get some exercise in. There you go. Perfect. Burn those extra carbs. He had a subway before this, so he has to burn those carbs off. <clears throat> There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're going to have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's going to be a long that. playthrough. <laughs> At this rate... <clears throat> Cover. Sneak up. Oh, God, this guy's butt smells. He didn't wash before we came out here. Whew. Stinky. <clears throat> Poor innocent man. And so, the Nathan Drake murder well, count starts to rise. Man. He's already murdered two men. How many more will he kill on his way here? Got it. You guys realize Nathan Drake is an infamous mass murderer, right? Like, he's a psychopath. He goes around the world killing people from all over the place to get treasure and stuff pretty messed up <clears throat> okay did you see the masked singer last night yes the giant crab was very entertaining and could sing like an angel <laughs> oh okay ready here we go. He didn't take him out. What the hell? He was supposed to take the guy out. He didn't do shit. He just stood. You saw that? He walked right by him. What an asshole. Wow, nice teamwork, you dick. <laughs> what a fucking dickhead. Okay, we're almost there. I'll go right, you go left. Oh, I really trust you. After the stealth you just did, you fucking did nothing to help. Music kapalı. Nice. Look at that. CQC. CQC, baby. CQC for you and me. Gonna take them out now. Secrecy. Is that how you knock someone out? You go behind them and you just like swat their head away like a bug and knocks them right out, huh? It's interesting. I'm gonna try doing that. In real life, I'm just gonna walk behind people and go whoop like that, see what happens. See if it works. All right, we made it. Do, 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 do. Okay, we should be able to lift this up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Yeah, another alarm. You want to get this one? Wait here. Great. More following power lines, because this was so fun last time. Where did he go? I can't even see. Look, it like, I need a flashlight. It goes up. Right? It goes up the wall there, and I it's law. I don't know where it goes. I can't see. It's too dark. Oh, is that it there? I think that's the box. Can we climb this? You gotta climb here. I see. You gotta climb this to get to the junction box. So you know it's tricky. 
it doesn't really stand out as much in this version. I remember in the original version, the platforms kind of stood out. In this game, they really don't. So it's actually harder to see what you're supposed to do here. Okay. It's off. Okay. We are. Right. <clears throat> One, two, three. All right, go. You got it? Yeah. Hurry. Okay, okay. Okay. Better hurry. Hurry up. Easy. Easy. There you go. I did not see the Uncharted movie. No, I did not. I cannot comment on it. All right. Okay. Across this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay. I'll just let you do the Oscar. Do you know what? Right. Head for the fountain. Pretty dark. Can't see anything. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. Now, where we go? This way? Two of them right there. Stay in the bushes. <gasps> what the fuck? Where'd he come from? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. Uh. Fuck this. Muse kapalı. Yakaladım. Head for the fountain. What a jump. Look at that! Get him over the edge! That actually worked pretty well. Spawn Killer did another dollar fifty. He says there's a treasure in the fountain. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't I'm not gonna get every treasure. I was kidding about that. If I find one, I'll find it, but I'm not gonna go crazy trying to get every treasure. That's insane. I'll never find them all. Lights out. Wow, he actually took someone out. I now can't we believe just gotta it. Now find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. There we go. Faster than you. Oh my god, I did go past him. That's pretty hilarious. A lot of guards. Oh, crap. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? <laughs> what are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Except that he murders so many people oh. later. Oh. Good idea. <laughs> Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? Know how to shoot a gun, genius. 
Thank you, Seo, for the tip. All right, let's take these guys out. Bu kutular bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Shit. Crap. Bütün balanı alın. All right, let's take these guys out. Shit. All right, let's take these guys out. <sighs> hmm. All right, let's take these guys out. Can't take cover on this wall. There we go. Why won't let me? There we go. What the fuck? Why can't I hit him? I'm aiming straight for him. Are these the most inaccurate handguns you've ever seen? It might be because I'm playing on hard. Because they're completely inaccurate. Shit. What? Uh, you guys wanted me to play on hard. The game is brokenly bad on hard. The guns don't even work. The guns seriously are terrible on hard. I don't know if I want to do this now. Why doesn't the gun work? It's so it. fucking weird. The gun doesn't work. <laughs> uh. This is so weird. I don't know if the guns just are weird or because I'm playing on hard that it's ob it's more difficult, but man, it's the guns are completely inaccurate. This could help. <clears throat> what could help? Give me a hand, will you? Circle? Uh, oh, I'm moving a cart. Okay. <clears throat> If the target is gray, it's too far. You can't hit anything if your target is gray. It has to be white. That's what I'm being told. Well, I don't remember that at all. I wonder if that's just for this limited time with the Trank gun, because I really don't remember that from this game. Nothing here. Those raptors will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Okay. Got to find a way up there. One of us thought ahead, eh? All right. So shout out to Hiseo, who did a whopping $20 tip, which is the biggest tip of the night. Let's go ahead and get that on the leaderboard before we continue here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so X4, no, 5. He has many things to say. He says, are you gonna going for as many trophies as you can in the run? No, I'm just basically getting whatever I can while I play. I'm not worried about trophy hunting or anything like that. Uh, I'm already playing on hard. That's enough of a challenge. Then he says, are you going to replay Uncharted 3 at a later date? Maybe, maybe not. I own the collection. Uh, did Uncharted 2 a multiplayer? I don't have no idea. I have no recollection. I'm pretty sure I didn't play it. But if it did, I must have skipped it. Yeah. And a Spawn Killer to the dollar for you says you're, too, you're out of range. Yes. Thank you, Spawn Killer. Okay. All right. Almost to the Gunner Glasses goal. Actually, oh, wow. This is a good stopping point for the video. I didn't even realize we've been playing for an hour. It didn't feel like it at all. Uh, all right. So if you enjoyed the playthrough so far, thank you for being a great audience. Remember, if you're watching On Demand on YouTube, you can like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. You can uh, support with Super Thanks if you'd like. If you're here on stream, you can like the stream. Any kind of user method is appreciated. Thank you so much. Let's save up. Cool. <clears throat>